Hey coders, welcome to the Fall 2022 Youth Coding League Championship Awards. My name is Chris Carnell, co-founder of Codify and the Youth Coding League. I'm astounded that we just started this thing a few years ago, and this semester we had over 300 projects competing during the playoffs. We started the Youth Coding League with the main objective, that no matter where you're from, how you look or identify yourself, or what your family background is like, you can begin to learn the skills and succeed if you're interested in working in the technology field. While math is important, you can also be great at coding if you're a creative person, or if you're hardworking and persistent, or even if you just like building things and helping people solve problems. Before we kick it over to Stacy and Liza to announce this semester's championship awards, I do want to pause to show a bit of gratitude. None of this would be possible without the incredible support of some organizations and individuals. Most importantly, you coders. Thank you. You are so inspirational. Watching you build things, grow, and the creativity that you have makes coming to work for us every day such a joy. Coaches, thank you for the encouragement for your teams. We found that the best teams are run by enthusiastic coaches who enjoy nothing more than watching their teams be successful and watching their coders grow intellectually as teams and to be the best versions of themselves. There are specific organizations that go over and beyond with the Youth Coding League. These organizations financially support the YCL in their communities and state. In Kentucky, we have McCracken County Library and the Kentucky Innovation Station. In Minnesota, we have Red Wing Ignite. In Missouri, we have Crowder College, eFactory, and the Missouri Technology Corporation. The University of New Mexico, Taos Hive, and a couple of very generous anonymous donors. These financial commitments allow us to pay coaches for their valuable time, gear for students, reviewing projects and supporting the league, and these amazing awards. Thank you for investing in your communities and your students for their future. Then we have tech companies and software developers at Hero Technologies out of Springfield, Missouri, Vizient Incorporated, Vintage Software, and graduates from our adult coding program, Code Labs. Thank you for giving up your time to review the technical merit projects. I still laugh when I hear them say, why wasn't this around when I was a student? Genuinely, thank you to everyone who has made the Youth Coding League so great. We've grown to nearly 100 schools and are excited to watch it blossom even more, where more students have more accessibility about learning to code. Without further ado, here are Stacy and Liza to announce the largest prize pool in the league's history. The Youth Coding League turns learning how to code into a sport, and our top placing teams in the regular season this fall depended on every single coder score to end up in first place. And both top placing teams in both the fifth and sixth and seventh and eighth grade division for a regular season team placement come from tiny but mighty rural communities. A big congratulations to our fifth and sixth grade divisions, regular season top placing team. In first place, Zambrata Mazeppa's middle and high school out of Zambrata, Minnesota with 68 points. King City Junior High and High School out of King City, Missouri with a population of just 799 took top place in the regular season for our junior high division. Congratulations. Our regular season top individual scoring coders worked through a nine week long regular season in the music and sound and friends curriculum. This fall, each week they were scored on agility, awareness, endurance, experience, intellect, reliability, collaboration, and ingenuity. And they did some amazing work to land themselves this far at the top of the regular season rankings. Congratulations to all of our regular season top individual scoring coders. Most improved coders this fall were selected by their coaches and showed a ton of growth over the fall 2022 YCL season. Well done to all of our hardworking, dedicated, most improved coders. Checks are in the mail to all of our most improved winners. Each semester, we choose a coach for the Epic Educator Award. This semester, we got to work with many amazing coaches. There was one coach, who is a rookie, who stood out to us immensely. Lee Shaver, coach of Taos Academy, has gone above and beyond for his teams. 
Not only did he lead them in the correct direction, but he advocated for them and always made sure that they were on track. Congratulations, Lee. The Technical Merit category awards coders for code proficiency and skill, and groups of professional software developers gather together to anonymously evaluate these projects. Projects with the highest scores advance from the semifinals to the final rounds. And we are really proud of these winning projects that have emerged as winners in the finals. In 12th place, we have the Forest Girls from Meadow Heights in Patton, Missouri. In 11th place is Emanuel Lutheran School from St. Charles, Missouri with the Three Musketeers. In 10th place, we have Cape Girardeau's Central Middle School Jaws Project with the coders taking home walkie-talkies. Zambrada Mazeppa's Postseason Team 1 lands ninth place and wins wireless speakers for each coder on their team. Scoring Beats Earbuds and eighth place, we have Kentucky's Breckenridge County Middle School's Olga. Seventh place goes to Cedar Ridge Intermediate School's The Callbacks from Branson, Missouri. Missouri team Scott County Central's The Assassins clinches sixth place in Bluetooth record players. Hailing from Sarasota, Florida, the Out of Door Academies sees its fifth place with their Tough Tough project. Taos Academy Charter School from Taos, New Mexico wins karaoke machines for the coders on their team and fourth place for the Flying Bananas. From Florida to New Mexico and back to Minnesota, this time Lake City, third place goes to Bluff View Elementary's The Three Mitochondria. Kirkwood, Missouri's Christ Community Lutheran School, Group 1, wins second place in brand new Chromebooks. In first place, for the middle school technical merit category, we have Central Intermediate from Washington, Illinois' Cookie Coders. These talented young coders did amazing work and are winning $500 each. Way to really show off these new coding skills, guys. Community favorite winners are lifted up by their community, spotlighted, and really celebrated for their hard work. Way to go to this fall's community favorite winners. Kenyon Wanamingo adds another win to their list with 12th place for the Cool Coders. Another team chalking up another win, Taos Academy Charter School's The Flying Bananas take 11th. We love seeing new to the YCL teams win big in the postseason, and Cassville Intermediates, the Twisty Twisters, did just that, with this Missouri team taking home 10th place. In ninth place, Breckenridge County Middle School's Olga Project adds to this school's Fall 2022 winnings. Sliding into eighth, we have Jackson Middle School's Boardwalk Music. Those new Beats earbuds we're sending your way will really come in handy as you play back your winning project. Central Intermediate School's Cookie Coders aren't done yet. In addition to a first place win in Technical Merit, they're also bringing home seventh place in Community Favorite. The Out of Door Academy's The Mushrooms team takes sixth place back to Sarasota, Florida. Missouri's Liberal Elementary School scores fifth place with their Flying Owls duo. Well done to this rookie team on such a great finish in the postseason. Christ Community Lutheran Schools Group 5 has claimed fourth place. Great job to those coders.
It might be their first season, but this team is bringing home win after win like a seasoned competitor. Zambrato Mazeppa's Team 1 takes home third place. In second place, we have another team from Branson, Missouri's Cedar Ridge Intermediate School. Those kids over there, that's the name of their project, not how we reference them, win their own Chromebooks. This veteran, highly competitive team out of Sykes and Missouri lands the top spot this fall. Congratulations to Sykes and Middle School's team, GOAT. You made sure that you lived up to your name in the postseason with this first place win. That wraps up our community favorite middle school winners. Your prizes will hit the mail this week. Our junior high technical merit winners were judged in four different areas by professional software developers, and they were impressed. Here are our fall 2022 seventh and eighth grade technical merit winners. In sixth place, we have the Toad Project from Nell Holcomb Elementary in Cape Girardeau, Missouri. Red Wing, Minnesota's own Twin Bluffs Middle School Team 10 wins fifth place. Nice work. Enjoy those new laser tag sets. Zion Lutheran School out of Belleville, Illinois' Christmas Trees Project was not only seasonally timely, but a big winner in fourth place. In third place and winning their own tablets, we have the Solution Makers from Breckenridge County Middle School in Kentucky. Winning second place and laptops are Saving the Earth with Coding Coders from Jackson Junior High. The big first place finish goes to a group with a score that really set them apart from all the rest of the postseason projects. Paducah Middle School's The Big Blue, you guys are winning $750 each for your exceptional work. You all impressed the daylights out of the professional devs who evaluated your work. These coders made amazing projects to showcase what they learned this fall and their communities showed up and supported them through three rounds of fierce competition, culminating in the awards we're about to announce. In sixth place, winning Amazon Echoes is the PC Studios team from Emmanuel Lutheran School in Wentzville, Missouri. What an admirable finish for a brand new team. This heavy hitting team is collecting another win in the postseason. Kenyon Wanamingo's Dalton and Logan score fifth place. Taking home instant cameras, fourth place, and bragging rights, we've got MC Chickens from King City Junior High and High School. They just can't stop racking up W's. Taos Academy Charter School's Taco Cats lands third place in their very own tablets. It's another heck of a finish for our friends from up north. Goodview Elementary School's Team EJ claims second place in their very own laptops. And in first place for our final finish of the day, we have Saving the Earth with Coding from Jackson Junior High School, adding to their prize tally for the fall 2022 season. You guys did incredible work this season. Thank you for showing us what you learned with so much creativity and care. And that's a wrap. Okay, that was that was too corny, but uh, yeah, that was probably definitely too goofy. But seriously, congratulations, coders and teams. You are obviously so deserving, and we're so proud of you. I like to end on this note, and pun intended. The skills that you learned this semester, scratch. It's just scratching the surface of what you could know about coding. So if you're interested in this stuff, I would encourage you to check out other skills such as JavaScript or Python. It's really the next step in your learning if you're interested in the technology field. Even if coding isn't great, learning these skills are great because there are many pathways to getting into the tech field, such as a graphic designer or a technical writer 
or a project manager, or a quality engineer. All occupations that are high demand and high paying. So really, it doesn't matter where you're from or how you look or how you identify yourself or what your family background is like. The Youth Coding League is intended to give you a taste of what coding could look like. So don't wait on us to continue your journey in learning more and diving deeper. But we do look forward to seeing you back next semester. Take care. Community favorite winners. <laughs> I typed this and I don't like it, so. Programming and organ, no. Stacy. Okay, I made it up, so now I have to oh, remember okay. what I was saying. Um, no, oh no, here, co great. here comes Chris. How does this um, mic take beatboxing? Do I look gangster now? Yes, yes. Do I look super gangster? Or just somewhat gangster? Some. So should I go more like, Emo like... Is there anything he can't do? Coaches who there are the most, uh, most important... <laughs> Cut that one, okay. Understanding and logic, programming techniques. Okay, I don't, I don't know what I said. In second place, we have another team from Branson, Missouri, Cedar Ridge Intermediate School. Those kids over there. <laughs> this was not part of the job description. <laughs>